On February 20th, 1943, the Paris volcano began to form with violent eruptions. The eruptions were slow and began to build the volcano into a cinder volcano. Due to the periclastic material flowing down, the volcano was able to flow for many years on end, up to 1953. The surrounding towns of San Juan, Parangaracatiro, and Maparacatin were evacuated before the eruptions could take any human lives. Though no human lives were taken, much livestock was lost along with other domesticated animals. Physically, lives were not lost, but economically, lives were taken. The falling ash killed crops and turned once fertile soil to fruitless soil. Mexico lies almost entirely on the North American plate, but is impacted by movements of bordering plates including the Riviera plate, the Coco plate, the Orizoco plate, and the Pacific plate, which the Baja California Peninsula is located on. With this, we can see that Mexico is highly susceptible to the formation and eventual eruptions of volcanoes because there is a major subduction zone that lies along the western coast of the country, which encompasses a portion of the western portion of the Ring of Fire. One of the most interesting things about this volcano is the fact that it does allow scientists to study out the full life cycle of a volcano from birth to extinction, something that has never been able to be done before. Due to it being an extinct volcano, the scientists today do not have the privilege of studying the real characteristics of the lava flows and much more that encompass truly the life of the volcano compared to the scientists who did back then. As we can see here, the slow flow of the pyroclastic material coming down the volcano was responsible for building up a cinder volcano and eventually building what it is today. Today it sits still, but many locals still remember the day when it formed and when it began to cause destruction and create havoc in the small towns that surround it. La historia se comienza así. El volcán nació en el 1943. Día y noche estaba aventando lumbre, estaba aventando arena, estaba aventando lava. Y estuvo durante nueve años en erupción, nueve años. Yo nací en el 45, después de dos años cuando nació el volcán. Y yo recuerdo un poco, como de sueños, me acuerdo un poco cómo se veía en la noche, todo rojo. rojo. Antes del volcán, ahí era una tierra de, de cultivo, ahí andaba un campesino arando con su yunta, que de repente se siente como que la tierra se abre, entonces se empieza a salir humo. Entonces ese volcán no estaba, ese volcán nació en una parte de sembradillo de maíz. Era muy triste para nosotros porque en aquel tiempo se acabó todo el cultivo, toda la tierra no, se, no servía nada porque la arena tapó toda la tierra fértil, entonces pura, pura arenal, como un desierto todo, pura arenal, negra, negra, todo se veía. Eh, duró como cerca de dos años para que creciera a esa altura lo que ahorita estamos viendo. El volcán todavía pues, nos dicen que va a volver, pero quién sabe si será cierto. Hey. The Lonely Steeple is a great reminder of how powerful this volcano is. Though it sits dormant today, who knows what it could be tomorrow.